here's one of my blue dream shrimps. I was cleaning the tanks Friday night, and I was like, oh, wow, this one's really buried. It's got a lot of babies. So I grabbed my camera. Oh, yeah, watch this in 4K. I recorded this in 4K video, and you can really see good underneath of this guy. All right, we're going to pan and zoom here. And in person, they almost look like eggs, but eggs aren't usually this bright. So I chased this shrimp around with the video camera, thinking oh, I gotta get some really good pictures of these eggs. And um, actually, I th looking at it now, it's I'm pretty sure this is a male. Well, the shrimp came out of this tank. The water's a little yellow because of the tannins. I do have some otter cones. We have Indian almond leaves. The KH is a little low, it's 2, the GH is 5, temperature, nice now, temperature is 74, TDS is 150 or so, pH is 7.4 in this tank, nitrates, nitrites are 0, Ammonia zero. Uh, there's snails. It's a sandy bottom. Live plants. Parameters seem good in this tank. Shouldn't been stressed out. So I started to get some really good close-ups, and I was like, "All oh, eggs aren't pointy." like this guy and I've seen this before but only in photos and then I knew it was a fungus or a parasite so after research it is this stuff I'm gonna put it here on the screen because I can't pronounce it so I knew the first thing I had to do is get this shrimp out of the tank um, and hopefully and hope it's not too late before all the other shrimps uh, come down with this parasite and I need to reset the whole tank so I caught the shrimp and put it in a container. Um, everything I use in this tank I soaked in bleach overnight. And now there's um, a list of treatments. Uh, this shrimp might be too far gone to save. But look in the comments below. I'll post update if he makes it or not. I got a few things to try. I'm giving credit to an article by Monica MC. I'm going to post the link below in the description. So be sure to check that out. In this article, there is a number of treatments. Uh, number one is a tank blackout. And it's to cover your tank for two or three weeks. I'm not sure how that works. How does that help with the parasite? Uh, post below. I'd be curious to see how that works and how does that help with the parasite. Uh, next is aquarium salt. And I have some aquarium salt laying around. I can try that. Uh, another thing is Paragard. Um, I have some of that coming. It's by Seachem. And that's probably uh, the route I'm going to go with that. Maybe the um, salt also. And also uh, Malachite Green and Formalin is two other things. 